Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about In a startling revelation, the United Aircraft Corporation CEO announced that next year they will start producing a modernized version of the SU-57. It'll be designated as the SU-57M. The biggest revelation is that the SU-57M would finally feature the new engine, the Saturn 30A L51F engine. According to the engine manufacturer, the United Engine Corporation, or UEC, this would allow the SU-57 to supercruise without using afterburner. And get this, at a speed of Mach 2, that speed would almost be near the MiG-31 Foxhound, although the MiG-31 uses full afterburner. If Russian could achieve what they promised, an SU-57 supercruising at Mach 2, this would be even faster than the J-20 and F-22 stealth fighter because their normal supercruise in stealth mode is around Mach 1.5, while the slower F-35 is not capable of supercruise. This would make the SU-57 as the fastest stealth fighter out there. That, if the Russians achieve this... The Mach 2 supercruise speed is much faster than most military observers, including myself, were expecting. I was guessing the engine would allow the aircraft to supercruise around Mach 1.5 or 1.6. Now, even if the SU-57 production is in full swing after many years of delay, but some Western critics were already skeptical if Russia could actually achieve these claims. Russia in the past has tendency to miss development and production timeline. They were arguing whether the AL-51 would be ready by next year. The AL-51 engine development started in 2011, but the first engine was only completed and used for testing in 2016. Since then, the engine is still under development stage and hasn't entered service. For now, the SU-57 being produced are using the AL-41 thrust vectoring engine, the engine used by the 4-plus generation SU-35. Supercruise capability is very important for stealth fighters, as they allow fighter to fly at high speed and maintain lower cross radar signature. It would also allow extended range and longer time in the air because it is much better in fuel efficiency. Using afterburners usually burns a lot of more fuel. The new Saturn 30 engine, according to the manufacturer, will optimize the stealth performance of the SU-57 through the use of the divergent nozzles and serrated flaps to reduce the aircraft's radar cross-section. The thrust capability of the engine is believed to be 8% higher than the F-119 engine used by the F-22, according to UEC. The engine's biggest advantage, though, according to the manufacturer, is lower maintenance requirements and cost. According to them, the engine would also allow the SU-57 for three-dimensional thrust vectoring capability, much better than their 2D thrust vectoring capability of the F-22. The engine would also allow much improved low speed for the SU-57. The Russians, it seems, are really betting hard on the SU-57's maneuverability to edge their other stealth rivals because the G-20, the F-35, and F-22 has much lower radar cross signature than the Russian SU-57. This goes to show the difference in ideology and fighting doctrine in these countries. The Russian never abandoned the idea of dogfighting. While the Americans is focused on stealth beyond visual range capabilities and network integration on the battlefield, in short, the vast system of system augment to complement each other. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.